Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeolu Yitunde and I'm still continuing with the beginner series where I show you how to make things that maybe you were wondering about. So today we are ma making a filler. It's a Yoruba traditional filler and it's made out of a fabric called Ashoke. For those of us who do not know what it is, it's like thick woven fabric traditionally made. So I've gone ahead to cut out the pattern for it. I'll have to make another video for that so that I can be more detailed in that video for you on how to cut out the pattern. And I've cut out the strips. I really thought I'll be able to give you a more detailed um, view on how to join the strips. But basically, it's you joining each edge, you know, till you make a whole circle. And then when you make the circle, you cut it in two like I did previously. So I went ahead to get an interlining i used the hard stay for those who know what it is paper stay but the hard version of it so i've gone ahead to sew it onto the fabric to try to leave some space for joining in my lining that's the little part that was at the bottom and now i'm just turning over the fabric onto it so that you can have like a design on top and so after doing this um it's really straightforward really once you follow the step of putting the hard stay on it, I used two layers of hard stay. You know, I left about a three quarter inch space uh, in between the hard stay and the edge of the fabric. And then I sewed that together, which you can see now and I've stretched it. So you can see that the pattern or the design has changed a bit and it's looking very, very neat and very, very classy. Now I made it short on purpose because I was trying to mimic a particular design, a filler design. Um, those who are familiar with fillers will know what I was trying to do here. And so now I'm just going to line it. Like I said, I left space for the lining. So that is what I'm doing now. I cut the same uh, shape or the same size for both the lining and the filler itself. So now I'm going ahead to just sew a straight line. And I will sew this all through and then turn it over and edge stitch it. So before you ask, the measurement for the hard stay was two and a half inches by the length of the filler. Now the length of the filler is 24 and a half inches. And then I added one and a half inches for sewing allowance. So that's like two and a half inches by 26 inches for the length. So that was what I used to cut the hard stay and I cut two pieces out of it. So in case you guys are wondering about that. Once the edge stitch is done, the next thing is to align every single part of the filler together. So that means the design we did must align, everything must align, the lining uh, spot must align as well. And so I'm just now going to stretch it, you know, fold it in two, make it look neat. And then I'll mark out the 24 and a half inches that I need for the filler and then sew it all through so from the top to the bottom is all going to be 24 and a half inches so divided by two i think it gave me 12.25 so like that was what i used Once all of that is done, the next thing is to just flip it over. So to do that, you are going to flatten out these seams. That means you are going to open it out with your fingers. You don't need to use an iron or anything like that. Just flatten it out with your, with your fingers and then turn it over. And then you're going to edge stitch at the bottom of the filler. And also at that design that we did, you know, the um, first one we did in the beginning, you're going to sew both at that edge and at the other edge so it's going to give like a pattern you know on it i usually sew the lining to the filler at the tip as well especially when i'm trying to join the circle for the top so that it doesn't like start shifting or look you know it doesn't move so it's easier for me so now i'm just going to trim it once again i will show you guys the pattern of how to create the circle and the filler itself so do not worry about that so now i'm just going to join it over uh join it I, I decided to pin everything at each spot you know like a circle you 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 have four spots so i decided to pin everything sew it up and then go to my serger machine my whipping machine to make it a clean finish and that was all i had to do 
I really hope you were able to learn one or two things from this video and I'm so grateful that you guys stuck it to the end. Thank you so much and see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, comment, share and just let me know what you're thinking. Thank you so much. Bye.